Okay, the next one we want to make uh, larger. And this is actually going to be our paper texture. Now, this, this texture is optional. Um, it will help to add authenticity uh, to the final final, the, the four panel thing that we're going to do. Um, it's not it's not a necessity. I tend to like it because it, again it gives it a more um, handmade feel. Uh, but this one we, we need to go twice as big uh, because it's actually going to cover the entire four panel thing. And we if, with if each square is eight by ten and there's four of them, uh, that means that we actually instead of eight by ten we need to go sixteen by twenty at three hundred pixels per inch. Now. This is going to be a pretty big file. That's why this is optional. If your computer uh, has the muscle and the horsepower to do it, go for it. Um, mine's a little older. It's right on the edge, so you'll have to bear with me on this um, or fast forward. Uh, but the image, the starting image size is 82 megs. So that's pretty big. So let's go ahead and agree to that. Okay. It's the same proportions as the 8x10. It's just twice as big. Okay, we're going to start this one with noise. Uniform, and we're going to make this 50, so we're going to beef up the noise here a little bit. Render clouds. Are you tired of rendering clouds yet? And we want to back them way off, so we're just going to make them 5%. So just barely there. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Just a hair, down to four pixels. We're going to do render clouds again. More with the rendering of clouds. Okay, now this, uh, what we're going to do with the clouds now is we are going to, whoop, my mistake. Okay, we're going to want to start a new layer, and we want to render clouds again. Okay, now with this second layer, we're actually going to want to rescale the clouds. So we're going to hit Command A for Select All, and then Command T for Transform. And now up here, we want to, and if you can click this on now if you want, so it'll do it proportionally on all for both height and width and we want to change this to 500 percent so it's going to be big and hit enter and wait and wait and wait some more Collect Social Security, go to the grocery, do your laundry, fly an airplane, build a house, knit a jacket, watch the grass grow, surf the Pacific, go to the moon. Paint the house, paint the neighbor's house, collect all the fish in Lake Michigan, put them in a basket, okay there it goes. Now if you have a faster computer, good, alright so now we want to we want to take that and we actually want to duplicate it that layer so now we have two of the same cloud layer things turn the top one off select the bottom one here and we want to overlay this one so we go up to here we want to ch change the transfer mode from normal to overlay Okay, that should do that. And now we want to go to this top layer here, turn it back on. 
And then we want to do something kind of weird with this one. We're going to go to stylize. Where'd you go? Stylize. Stylize. And we want to do glowing edges. It's thinking. Yeah, if you look at the size of our file, it's it's up to 247 meg so far. So it's pretty big. Again, why this is optional. The other thing that you can also do is you could scan a piece of paper in that has um, that's kind of aged looking, or you can go looking online if you see if you can find something that's pretty big. I chose to do this entirely by hand, or, or I should say entirely by the, on the computer, so that if you don't have access to that, or you just like the challenge of just trying to create it entirely in the computer, which is kind of fun sometimes, uh, I thought we'd go that route. Okay. So the screen came up here, the uh, filter screen, glowing edges, and what we want to do is we want to change the edge width to 8, brightness to 20, <clears throat> smoothness to 1, and click OK. And again, I guess it isn't as bad as the... Uh, scaling up the clouds kind of cool huh um, okay so then what we want to do is we want to invert that so command I again command if you're on a Mac and just invert it like that and we want to multiply that over the top And we want to take the opacity of that layer down to 30%. So just make sure you're on this layer up here in opacity. Oop, my little circle. There we go. Opacity, change it to 30%. So it's just barely in there. Now, flatten all of it. So go up here, flatten image. And we'll take our layer stack and crush it into one image. Now we want to recycle one of the images we already created. So if you're ha if you're doing this out of order, you want to go. You're going to want to uh, go back a couple and find uh, the edge degrade tutorial because you'll need it for this. So I think we'll just go open. Edge degrade here. We'll open it. Okay, there it is, and we want to do select all, copy, command C, and then we can shut this, we can close that. And we want to paste it, which is command V. Now, it's actually a quarter of the size, because we created a much larger image on this, this time around. So, simple enough, just command T it, it'll turn into the transform tool, and uh, Turn your um, lock on with height and width and just call it 200% and it should fill the screen. Hit return and there you go. Okay, and we want to take that layer and we want to multiply it over the top. Then we want to flatten that. And we want to hit Command U for hue saturation again. Colorize it again. And we want to do hue on this 50. And saturation, we want to do 15. Let's have a look. Not too bad, a little computery, but uneven and kind of indicates paper texture and that kind of thing. And when we apply it, we're going to apply it lightly. So it should create uh, the illusion of paper. All right, so let's save that. Save as to our textures folder.
All right. And that is all of the prep images that we need to create for the museum grade Warhol.